Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Yacht Addiction YouTube channel. We're gonna step up onto the aft deck to avoid some of the crowd at Flibs. But this yacht is listed for sale by Worth Avenue Yachts. And let me tell you a little bit about it. This 105 foot super yacht is a Dutch built super yacht by Holland Yacht Bow. It was delivered in 2004 with a refit in 2021. It has an aluminum hull and superstructure. It is also a very family oriented yacht You'll see inside it's extremely elegant, extremely high quality. It definitely has a classic feel to it with that Dutch built pedigree. It only has three cabins sleeping up to seven and it also has room for four crew in two different cabins. It has a length of 105 feet and three inches, a draft of six feet and three inches and a beam of 22 feet and four inches. I'll tell you more about the performance later on in the engine room. Let's go ahead and continue on with this tour like I said, we're up on the aft deck. You have this circular table right in the middle. And one really cool feature is you'll see all of this wraparound seating and there is the shielding that's zippered into place. So you can fully enclose off this space. You can keep it open, but also in the middle here, these stairs can be flipped up and then you can actually put a seat right in this area. So you can fully wrap around this space with seating if you have zero intentions of ever stepping off the back. That's a pretty cool feature. You'll see the stairs up to the upper deck, but we'll head there later on in the tour. So now we're gonna head inside this main salon. You have these beautiful double doors and these will open up in tandem. So if I open up this one, they will both slide open and the same for when I close them. So here we are in the main salon and you'll see this lovely blue and white carpeting on the floor. Like I said, it's a very elegant, very classic design, but also very comfortable with its updates over time. You'll see a large TV that rises up right here. And you have all your built-ins forward. If we continue on, you have a side access door right here. And then this is the raised pilot house. We'll get to this in a few minutes. Here is the day head. And here is your formal dining area. And I like how it's separated between the main salon. It's also very comfortable because you have the really large L-shaped seating area that wraps around the one side and then the chairs wrapping around the other. Now moving even more forward is where we find the galley. So you have a little booth set up right here. Your sub-zero refrigerator. You have your Mila appliances, and this is actually a Gaggenau stovetop. It's a very high-end stuff. And you'll see your double sink and your dishwasher. And technically this is where the crew domain begins. You can see there are a couple monitors over here for the cameras and the other monitoring systems for the ship. So they always have situational awareness of what's going on. And it looks like overhead, you do have some skylights that can be opened to let in some natural light or ventilation. Then we're gonna take a really quick peek at the crew domain. You can see there is a head right here. It's a pretty good size and you have some crew cabins right here, and two more right here. This is a bunk, so you have two beds, and the single, and a closet. So you do have four crew. However, they actually have three different cabins, not the two like I think I might have said earlier. 
So back in the formal dining area, these stairs will lead us down to the three cabins. Like I said, this is a really good sized ship for only having three cabins. But if we head to this VIP cabin, it's a really good size. You have a large closet right here. And then of course you have the ensuite. Back over in this direction, we have the third cabin. And it looks like there might be a Pullman berth right here. And then of course, facing the opposite way, you have their closet and the ensuite. And then last but not least, let's step into the owner's cabin. Comfortable seating over here. This is the full beam of the boat. You have all of the built-in storage on the far side, your TV on the wall. Here's the closet. Then you have more built-in dressers right here and the ensuite. So those are all three cabins. Pretty spacious, extremely comfortable looking. You can see everything you need for your dining room is stored away right here. And then now we're gonna step up into the raised pilot house. You have the bench back here, all of your flags. Then if we turn around, we will see all of the controls for the ship. And then you'll see on the opposite side, their staircase leads back down to the main salon. So next we're gonna head up onto the flybridge. And it's a really bright space up here. You have this expandable dining table, another L-shaped seating area, and the chairs that go around it. You have some loungers right here. Behind this is where you actually have your crane, and this is where you can store a tender or jet ski. These stairs will lead us back down to the aft deck. Then here it looks like we have a fridge, a sink, and then you have two stid helm chairs you have an extra helm station up here, and this is really nice. You can see this panel will actually fold down. You can see the hinges for that right there. So this will sit flush when not in use. And you also have a docking station on this far side with another stid helm chair.
So we're actually gonna head out through this door because we're gonna head up to the forward deck next. And you'll see that was a perfect choice because this is actually closed off behind us. I keep bumping into DB9. What can I say? I guess I'm just naturally attracted to it. But continuing on forward, you have this huge area of sun pads. Everyone in the family can lie out and enjoy the sun. If you need additional space, you could throw some more on top of here. And then you have all of your equipment here for the crew. And a large step up to the front of the yacht. So if we head back in the opposite direction, once again, you'll see that this is closed off, so you do have to go inside to get up to the foredeck. Let's make sure this is closed all the way. There we go. So, back into the main salon. Now we're going to make our way down to the engine room, which is off of the swim platform. So if we step inside, we'll find the first engineering space. And then through this door, we will find the engines. There's also, as you'll see, a ladder here. So you, this can be accessed by a hatch, but nine times out of 10, probably even more than that, you're just gonna be going through the door on the transom. But here you'll see this massive engine room And this yacht comes with a pair of MTU M90 engines. They're 1800 horsepower each, giving you a top speed of 22 knots. You can cruise at 16, and you'll get about 750 nautical miles of range. Thank you. So we've seen all the different areas on this beautiful classic yacht. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Thank you to Worth Avenue Yachts for granting us access to do the tour. And we will catch you next time.